Hi guys, welcome to Matt's Lockpit. Um, tonight we've got a cool little video for you. Well, hoping it's going to turn out to be a cool little video. It's not going to be picking. It's going to be something different. We're going to try and bring this old Chubb Cruiser padlock back to life using electrolysis. Uh, I know what some of you might be thinking, what the fuck is electrolysis? Well, I'll explain that in one second. As I said, we've got this Chubb Cruiser padlock. Um, it's looking very sorry for itself. All the levers inside are seized. The cover seized, doesn't move. Looks hard. It's basically dead. Um, my first instinct was to soak it in petrol overnight to see if that loosens things up and go from there. Uh, but I thought I'd have a quick post on lock picking and lock sport UKLP on Facebook and uh, see if any of the guys had any cool ideas. And uh, in all fairness, they gave me a lot of good ideas. But um, UK lock pickers replied with um, a video of DIY electrolysis, and I thought it looked really cool, and I uh, wouldn't mind trying it. So here I am, I'm trying it. See if we can bring this child cruiser back to life. Um, first things first, I'm not a scientist. Don't claim to be a scientist. Don't even really fully understand the scientific principles behind this. But to uh, put it in simple terms, uh, if we submerge our metal, in which case the padlock into an electrolyte solution and apply a negative direct current of electricity to it whilst at the same time applying a positively charged direct current of electricity to another piece of metal in the same solution um, some sort of chemical reaction should occur some hydrogen is produced and whatnot I don't exactly know how it works but the rust particles should flow from the negatively charged padlock to the positively charged metal leaving all the rust on the metal and not on the padlock in theory sounds cool so let's, let's give it a go just move that for you <coughs> right so i know what you're thinking electrolyte solution what the fuck is electrolyte solution sounds expensive all it is bucket of water i've got about four liters of water in there couldn't really find anything line, online of how much water to use and whatnot, so I don't think it really matters. And then all we need is to add some sodium carbonate to it, which again sounds complicated, but in reality all it is is soda crystals. Bought this from Wilkinson's, about £1.50. Slight little bit in it. Doesn't need much. Well... According to online, I've never actually done this myself. This is the first time, so we'll see how it goes. Go make sure that's nice and dissolved. So move this out of the way for you a second. Right, to start with, we need to get some copper wire wrapped around this padlock so we can submerge it in the solution It's not pretty, but hopefully that shall work. I think we've got a plain piece of copper pipe.
There we go. Bit of copper on a copper pipe, simple as that. There we go, we now have our padlock in the solution. Now we'll attach a power supply to it. As I said, it needs to be negatively charged. The power supply isn't turned on yet, don't turn it on until it's all done. You could go bang. Plug in our positive power supply. Attach it to the piece of metal and we shall submerge that in, making sure it's not touching the padlock or anywhere near. I'm just going to clamp that on to keep it out of the way. So we're here, we've got a bit of a contraption. But we've got everything in there that we need in our electrolyte solution. All to do now is plug the power on. And hope to God I don't go kaboom. There we go, electric is now turned on. You see we got a few bubbles there, nothing drastic. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so I'll stop the video here and we'll come back in an hour or so and we'll check it again, see what it's looking like and uh, go from there. Alright guys, we're now an hour in to the process. Good bit of scum forming on the top, if we zoom in. A good bit of little bit of action going on in there quite undramatic but at the same time it looks like he's gonna get there so we'll have a look see what's going on in a few hours see you in a bit hi guys we're now at the three hour stage as you can see, I've moved the scrap metal, the positive charged bit of metal, a bit closer to see if that would help with anything. A good bit of scum around the edge. Water's definitely changed colour. Let's see if we can zoom in on. It's all got bubbles fizzing, reactions going on. It is progressing, it's going slowly, not sure how confident I am anymore, we'll just wait and see, <clears throat> I think uh, we're at the 3 hour stage now, I want to try and leave it for 6 hours, so if we say we're at the halfway mark now, so I think I might change the positively charged bit of metal over to the other side of the padlock, just to try and keep things even, and um come back in an hour or two see what it looks like see you soon hi guys we're at the four and a half hour mark now uh, as I said I was gonna swap the positively charged metal over as I was doing that I actually <coughs> changed how it was connected to the padlock and uh, I don't know if you can see through the water there but I've clamped it directly to the padlock so hopefully it's got a better electrical connection now um, the water's got a nice rusty browny colour now and um, 
you can't really see it on the camera, but there's quite a bit of vapour coming off of the water. Still a bit of action going on there. Starting to feel more promising about it now. Just think it might take a little bit of time, that's all. So uh, I'll catch you in a little bit. Right, here we go, we're on hour six. Um, a lot of fucking steam coming off. It's hot as the devil's dick in there, like. Um, don't know how well it's working. Leave it one more hour. And then we'll pull her out and have a look. So, see you in an hour. Alright guys, right, so this is what we're looking at for hour number seven. Um, looks like it could do with a little bit longer, if I'm honest. However, this water is absolutely boiling to the touch. And uh, I don't really want to leave it much longer in there. I'm so I'm going to get it out, I'm going to rinse it under the running water and give it a quick scrub with a nail brush and then we'll see what it looks like. So I'll get it out and I'll see you in a minute. Right then, so here we are, out of the electrolysis. Um, I've run it under running water and uh, rubbed over it with a nail brush. A um, little bit disappointed, really. Still seized up here. The levers still seem to be seized up as well. Uh, cosmetically, it is a lot better. But I would have liked it to look nicer. So, it is nice and smooth. It has, it has made a good difference, but I'm still not happy with the finish. So, I think I'm just going to have... Let it have a little soak in some WD-40. And then I'm going to give it a, either a rub down with some sandpaper or some... We'll give it a go with a wire brush. Uh, come back and see the results from there. And this was our positively charged piece of metal. Fair bit of crap on that, in all fairness. It has worked. You can't fault that, it definitely has done its job. See what it looks like after I've rubbed her up. I'll see you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, electrolysis finished, rubbed it down a bit. As you can see, it is looking a hell of a lot better. It's getting there. Um, unfortunately, the levers are still seized up a bit. So um, this is going to be a two-part revival. We're going to go for plan B, and we're going to soak it in some vinegar. What we got here? Distilled malt vinegar from Sainsbury's. Doesn't matter where it's from or what it is. That smells wrong. Just to increase the acidity a little bit, I'm going to add a touch of salt. Speed things up. I figured it's had seven hours electrolysis, we'll give it seven hours in the vinegar. Plonk it in. There we can see it's now in the vinegar. I'll 
check back in with you in a little bit. Bye now. Alright guys, well we're about an hour and a half in now, and as you can see our old cruiser's now got some company. Some very nice company as well. If you can see there in the middle we've got a big padlock. It's a 21740. Uh, plenty of you will know the big Vector uh, padlocks that they make today, lovely padlocks. Well this is actually one of the original bigs, um, before it became big, big Vector, um, it used to be just big and it changed its name in 1950 to Big So uh, that dates this padlock at a minimum of 68 years old. As you can see, this is the key for it. Lovely bitten on that key. So I'm not going to leave that in the vinegar for too long. Don't want to damage it. So I'm going to pull that out and give that a clean up as well. So we'll come back in a few hours. Why not? There we go, we're at the around about the four hour mark into the vinegar now. As you can see we've got a big change this time, we've got rusty water. And we can see a lot of the rust has actually left the padlock. Well hey, it's coming along. Uh, I'll leave it another two hours and then we'll uh, come back to it and see what state we're in then. Bye. So here we are, hour seven of the vinegar. Looking very nice in there. Oh, nice look at that. Hey, right, looking brilliant. All right, what I'll do, I'm just going to give it 10 more minutes to soak, see if we can get off the rest. And then I'm going to give it a quick wash out. And uh, I think I'm going to give it a quick rub with a bit of steel wool, to be honest. Check to see how the levers are now. Well, that's looking awesome. See you in a minute. Well, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we've made it to the final part of the video. Well, basically movie at this rate. Um, I've taken the padlock out of the vinegar. It's come out lovely. Um, I've literally spent a minute, maybe a minute and a half, rubbing it down with some steel wool and a wire brush. And look what we've got. Lovely. Look at that. You can't fault that. I've had a piece of piano wire inside. All the levers are moving nicely. So, um... I think we're going to leave it like that for this video. Um, I'm going to get that into some WD-40 again so it doesn't rust up. Get it all cleaned out. Uh, I'll graphite powder up the levers, etc. And I'll show you the finished product when I make a video of myself picking it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Also, I mentioned this big padlock earlier. Let's see if I get that to focus. Just wondering if anyone had any information on these. I'm not that clued up on padlocks. Um, be nice if I could have some clarity towards the age. I've watched another guy on YouTube picking one. Uh, he seems to think the age is the same as well. Uh, turned out to be a really good video. It was a nice little pick. Um, so if anyone has information on that, I would be grateful. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'd also appreciate it if you could give me a like and also subscribe. Keep an eye out for my videos. Take it easy. Bye.